great crowd for Georgia tonight. Our red coat band was there. Very nice to be able to celebrate the victory with uh, our fans and our and our band and uh, our and our the families you know of our of our team. Uh, and uh, just very thankful to have the opportunity to go back to Atlanta. Uh, we're very excited about winning the East. We're very excited about going back to Atlanta. There's no doubt about that. But we know there's a lot of work to be done between now and then. We've got a couple uh, games to be played. We got Georgia Southern coming up this week that we know is going to be a challenge, and we got to work hard to prepare for them. But we also have to work hard at uh, just getting better as a football team as we progress throughout the year. We I think we've been uh, improving as we go, and hopefully we can keep it going. Coach Rick, you say you want to get better as a football team uh, as a two-parter, A, in what areas in B. Right. How do you do that against two right. teams where you are heavily featured? Well, you know, every day that we practice, we have a chance to get better or worse. I mean, that's just all there is to it. And there's just so many things uh, on offense, so many things on defense and special teams. There's just so many facets and facets of the game that you can you can perfect. And, and again, even if you feel like you're playing at a high level somewhere along the way, if you don't keep honing it, if you don't keep working hard at it, you're, you're going to lose what you have. So we just got to keep moving forward and hopefully we'll keep, keep getting better every day in practice. Anything you saw tonight that you said, boy, we need to get better at that? Uh, you know, um, there were some things protection-wise that wasn't just right. Um, you know, when you have a, a game like that, a score like that, you might think everything's going right, but every time you – snap the ball, we'll see some things that weren't done as well as they should be. And, and so we just got to you know, make sure we um, keep getting better. And, and the thing about football is every week you play, it's a whole new team. It's a whole new scheme. It's a, you, know, you can't just sit there and say, well, let's just run that same game plan again. You can't do that because uh, you have different defensive looks, different offensive looks, and um, you know, different things to deal with on special teams. So it's always a challenge every week. Does this feel fin uh, feel different than here 10 years ago or even last year when you clinched? Uh, yeah, it's a little different in that, um, again, we are we are excited about it, and, and I don't want to belittle in any way, shape, or form uh, winning the East because it's a, it's a big deal, and there's six other teams in the East that would have loved to have done it. And uh, so it's very difficult to get – uh, in position to go back to Atlanta, but um, you know, I just think that we we really feel like since we were there last year and didn't didn't do very well, we played good for a half and, and just didn't do much the second half. We want we want we just want to want to play better. Mark, we want to have a better performance uh, when we get there. There and complete ten consecutive passes to start the game that really it almost passed the game set up the running game tonight, did it? Yeah, it did. Aaron was very sharp. Um, uh, you know, we had a couple of really good red zone uh, plays that were run to perfection um, early on. That was big, and um, I think Coach Bow just really did a good job of scheming and everybody executed very well. Mark, you coached with uh, Brian Van Gore for several years. Uh, do you sympathize with what he's going through now, and can you put a finger on what the problem is defensively at Auburn? Well, um, you know, going into the game, our goal was just to play as good as we could possibly play, and and uh, you gotta you gotta take your feelings out of it and, and personalities out of it. But but I'm uh, a huge uh, fan of uh, Brian Van Gorder and and Willie Martinez. I uh, love both those men and their families, and uh, you know they they started the journey, you know, to Georgia with me and and, the, and the, that new staff. That was a special staff, a bunch of great guys and they were a big part of it and uh, you know it's uh, football is just you just never know what a week's going to bring you never know what a season's going to bring so um, I know I know they're great coaches I can tell you that. Mark we were talking after the game how quickly this sport can change think about how you felt two years ago when you walked off this field and where you are now how much has changed? Well it's just you're exactly right it's just you just um, you know there's going to be rough days it's going to be some hard days, and you got to be tough enough to to uh, to battle through it. You got to be tough enough to just keep waking up every morning, and going back to work, and, and, and getting back after it. Uh, we we have done a good job of uh, weathering a little bit of a storm over there a couple years ago, and even the beginning of last year, there was a lot of doubters, and, and we just kept together. I think you know 
one thing that I really love about my time at George is we, every team we've had has had, has had a family atmosphere to it. It's had a, uh, we've just had a group of people that believe in each other. I don't, we've never really had a, an issue where I felt like we were losing the team or losing the um, teamwork between staff members or offense and defense or whatever it may be. So no matter how good or how bad things have been, we've always done it together. And that's, that's huge because sometimes that's all you got. And uh, so I'm just glad we're able to celebrate right now. Did you play without two of your top wide receivers tonight? Uh, what does it mean for Georgia that you have put kind of the air? Well, we, we do have other good receivers, and uh, guys did step up. We had Conley step up and make some plays, and Artie Lynch, you know, made some plays. And, of course, TK and, uh, and Malcolm have been doing well. And, and the run game was big tonight. We didn't have to rely quite as much on the pass game because we ran the ball well. Uh, our, our two freshman backs have really been fantastic to have um, so many doubts about our running game going into the season. and. Having these guys play the way they play, uh, been playing has been, has been great. Coach, uh, back on that title game, what makes you think? Uh, do you feel it would be different this year? Well, I don't know. We just we just got to keep um, progressing and, and improving, and and uh, you know we'll just see. I mean, I'm not going to try to predict what's going to happen. I'm going to tell you that we want to do a better job than we did a year a year ago. You Mark. mentioned celebration. What was it? Somewhat subdued, given that you guys. No, it wasn't subdued. It, we we had fun uh, celebrating the victory and, and winning the East. But I think there's a little different feeling um, in everybody's spirit about um, that Atlanta. You know, is not it's not the end of the road. We hope. When you clinched last year, that Kentucky game was a little closer game. Does this indicate you guys are on a little bit more of an upward trajectory in your mind? Well, we're playing a whole lot better on defense, I can tell you that. And um, offensively, today we put it together, run and pass. We've had some outstanding performances uh, from Murray. You know, let's say Kentucky game. We didn't run the ball that good, but we just were throwing a catch and so good. It didn't really matter. Today was a day where we ran it well. We, we threw it and caught it well. Our defense was outstanding. Uh, uh, Colin Barber punted beautifully. We started to see a little bit more of what he could do. Uh, made every extra point and field goal. Uh, we covered our kicks well. Just a lot of really good things happened. Coach, two big uh, zeros on the stat sheet. Uh, zero points against, zero turnovers. Uh, which is more impressive to you? Well, anytime you get a shutout, it's huge. And you usually get a shutout because there aren't any turnovers. A lot of times your defense may play lights out, but if you throw a pick six or fumble it inside your 20 or, or your kick returner fumbles the ball on a kickoff and puts the defense in a bad position, um, it's hard to get a shutout when somebody's already in field goal range. So shutouts really are a team thing. And uh, as good as your defense is playing, I've seen a lot of great defensive performances and still give up, you know, three or seven or ten points because of some bad turnovers and, and bad field position. It seems like this team's overcome uh, some obstacles, obviously the suspensions and some key injuries. What does that say about the character of this team? Well, it's, you know, I'm proud of them. You know, we just keep banging away and uh, we keep believing and, we weren't going to let anything become an excuse for us, and so um, that's the way you got to do it. Coach, you mentioned the SEC championship. You said you'd like to play for more. You're still in the top of the national championship. Will that affect whether you decide to rest some guys in the next couple of weeks, or is that a decision you're not ready to make? No, we're not going to rest anybody. We, we know we've got uh, some great teams we're about to play, teams that can uh, you know, run up and down the field on you, and uh, it's just going to be a tremendous challenge to – change gears a little bit defensively because uh, it's it's totally different uh, to defend the, the teams we're about to play. And uh, we had two of those in a row. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. You think it might be good that you could um, uh, get, get a chance to perfect it or, or at least get as close as you can. But um, also, uh, it's just, um, it's just, you're going to play two defensive games that are just going to be so so different than what we'll play the rest of the year. Do you allow yourself to start looking at BCS rankings now and playing games in your head, or do you not do that? Uh, well, you know, I always – I mean, I look at what's going on in college football. I'll, I'll look at – I always look at the BCS rankings. You can't help but look at them. I, mean, I think everybody looks at them. But I'm not going to sit there and, you know, say if this and if that. I mean, I, oh, we just know if we keep winning, there's a chance. There's a chance. But uh, they'll be about – who knows how many teams think they got a chance? There's probably still another, probably still ten teams out there. Probably think there's still a chance. Were you disappointed to see Alabama go down today? 
Um, I, I didn't get too caught up in it. Um, you know, we just, I really was most concerned about this one. And, um, <laughs> you know, I, I didn't worry too much about it. Well, How aware were you when that big cheer went up that that was them cheering for Vanderbilt? I really didn't know what it was at first because <laughs> I didn't, I just didn't see what caused it. Um, but then uh, after a little bit of thinking, I thought maybe that might be. I'm a loss. Again, shows how hard it is. Alabama's lost to win. Go unbeaten in the SEC. It's very hard to go undefeated in our league, and everybody knows that. And um, we, we probably have six top ten teams. We probably have six top ten teams. The past. Oh, sorry. The past few years, it's been the SEC West that's dominated. Do you think it's time for the SEC East to step up, and do you think that this is the year? Well, we're going to do our best. Mark, you're a poll voter. Uh, do you think it's hard for someone to decide a one-loss Georgia or one-loss Bama when they're doing their rankings? You know, it's going to be close, I'm sure. It's going to be very close. What went in uh, to our thing wearing the number 15? Well, obviously, uh, he's a very close friend of Marlon Brown. As a matter of fact, every day in practice, uh, he wears 15, and Marlon has been wearing 12 all year long. They're just very good friends. And, uh, and uh, you know, I told him before he even came to me, yes, you can wear 15, because I knew he was going to come to me. And uh, he's like, how'd you know? I mean, it's, it's obvious to me you're going to do that. But so we miss Marlon. We miss Avery. We miss uh, Michael Bennett. And, uh, uh, even uh, Chris Burnett, I guess, that wasn't able to make it. So we miss all those guys. Hope everybody gets well. Tavares said this is the best team he's played on at Georgia. They're playing the best right now in his four years. Do you agree with that? Playing pretty good right now. We're playing pretty good. And, you know, in the last four years, yes, I'd say we're as good or better than anything. But, uh, yeah. Coach, obviously Auburn was, was a struggling coming into this contest. How important that in mind? How important was it to set the tempo right. of offense did it like it was today? You know, um, Football is a funny game, and uh, when one team grabs momentum, sometimes it's just hard to stop it. And um, we were hoping not to give them anything to get excited about. But I'll, I'll say this: the Auburn fans, uh, this place was packed. They were ready to rock and roll, and uh, you know they they love their team and they support the team. Anybody else? One more question. Anybody? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.